so guys i was studying the bible right now uh, and i just received a i can't say a shocking but a powerful revelation from the book of first Corinth, second corinthians second corinthians chapter two uh chapter one second corinthians, corinthians chapter one the bible reveals the bible reveals a very very powerful revelation right here and i am so amazed by what god was was sharing with me and with my spirit right now you know i've been writing notes you know, all of these the first thing that i came across as i was studying the bible is that the grace of god is upon me and the peace of god my father is upon me it is very important to know that as a child of god god's grace is upon your life what is grace grace is an enablement a divine enablement from god when you do not know how to do certain things he enables you right you we don't know how to be righteous on our own he enables us it is by grace that anything that we we do as god's children is we are capable of doing it anything that we find ourselves doing as god's children we are able to do it because of the grace of god so the bible literally says in verse one it says uh it, in verse two it says grace be to you and peace from god right grace be to you and peace from god our father and from the lord jesus christ so the grace of god when the grace of god comes upon your life it enables you it enables you to do the things that you are not able to do it is by grace that we are born again it is by grace that we are successful it is by god's grace that we manage to be god's children number one it was god's grace that saved our lives we were saved by grace through faith we were saved by grace through faith the mere fact that you believe in jesus christ is because of god's grace right it is because of god's grace and then as i continue to study the scripture right first corinthians chapter 2 verse verse 10 it says who delivers us from so great death and doeth deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us when you read verse 11 it says ye also helping together by by prayer so the the scripture reveals the fact that god delivers right god delivers us he delivers us from every different type of situation in this case apostle paul he was about to be killed in the land where they went to to, to preach right uh in verse 9 the bible says but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves but in god which raised the death that simple scripture right there is very powerful right it says in our hearts in ourselves we already had the sentence of death apostle paul looked at himself he looked at his his people the one he was ministering with and they realized that on our own we will die so they already concluded that if we try to venture into what we want to do without the word of without god with us we are gonna die so when they concluded that they are failures without god when they concluded that they cannot make it without god when they concluded that without god whatever mission they were on it was gonna fail they then decided that we're not gonna do it on our own because on our own we're gonna fail so they put their trust in god that's number one. It is very crucial as a child of God to set your plans and realize that without God, those plans will fail. It is very important as a child of God to set your goals and realize that without God, those goals will fail. Because number one, the goals have to be inspired by the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible says, do not lean on your own understanding. Lean on God. Do not lean on your own understanding. Lean on God. That's very crucial right there. Apostle Paul himself, he said, we knew that we are going to die here on our own so we put our trust in god why did they put their their trust in god verse 10 says who delivers us from so great death god delivers us from so great death so when they realized that they will fail without god they put their trust in god because they knew that god is going to deliver them from death when you realize that you cannot do it without without god you put your trust in god because you know that you can do all things through christ right when you realize that you cannot be successful without god you put your trust in god for your success because you know that with god all things are possible when you realize you cannot do it without god you put your trust in god because you realize that you can do all things through christ that's very very important as a child of god just 
always remind yourself whatever you are pursuing as a child of god always remind yourself on my own i cannot do it i need the spiritual strength i need the spiritual ability from god i need an enablement i need grace from god to help me to be able to do what i want to do right and then the bible says and the bible says in verse 11 ye also helping together by prayer for us look at that in as much as god was uh, god is able to deliver right in as much as god is able to deliver there is a need for men to also pray not to say you are praying to help god no you are praying to prepare your atmosphere for god's operation not to say you are praying so that god can come and help you no you are praying so that your atmosphere can become conducive to that which god wants you are praying so that you can become spiritually aware of god's voice and instructions for you during the moments of prayer god opens our eyes to see the solution to our problems during moments of prayer ideas are dropped into our spirit processes to take us out of trouble are given to us through the holy spirit so if you do not pray sometimes you might not be delivered not sometimes if you do not pray actually you cannot get that your deliverance if you do not pray your success might not come if you do not pray your salvation might not be as effective as it's supposed to be why because when we pray when we speak to god he speaks back to us without us speaking to god we will not be able to hear god speaking to us right and when you do not hear the voice of God, you cannot follow God. You cannot walk in the ways of God. Why? Because you cannot hear what God is saying. You cannot hear what the, what the word of God is telling you. You need to be able to pray as a child of God so that your atmosphere can be ready and conducive for the Holy Spirit to guide and lead you, to direct you, to give you processes, procedures, steps that you need to do to ensure that His will is done in your life as His child. That's very crucial. Right? In as much as God delivers us from so great death, there's also a part for us to play. The Bible says, the Bible, I'm reading from my notes right now. The Bible says, ye also helping in prayer. That's in, uh, ye also helping in prayer. Right? That means you need to pray as a child of God so that your atmosphere, your surrounding can be ready for angelic operations. Right? And when you go to verse 12, the Bible says, for our rejoicing is this the testimony of our conscience so uh, when we pray and god gives us ideas right when we pray and god gives us instructions when we study the word of god and god tells us what to do our conscious marks that which we need to do we are aware of it we know that we need to pray in the morning whenever we do not pray our conscience testifies against us it says you did not do the will of God. You did not do what you're supposed to do as a child of God. It testifies against you and there's no joy in that. There is only regret, remorse and repentance. The Holy Spirit convicts you of the things that you need to do. Right? This is so powerful. That's what I wanted to share with you today. As a child of God, in as much as God might deliver you, you need to speak to Him. That's why the Bible says, do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, make your request be known to God. And I was actually looking at the word petition. It means a written, a formal written letter to someone with a higher authority to offer you. Right? So it is very crucial for us to, to talk to God instead of worrying. So that's it, you guys. Make sure that as a child of God, you spend time with God. Make sure that as a child of God, you pray. Make sure as a child of God, you read the Bible. Spare some time for the Bible. You know, make sure as a child of God, you get yourself acquainted with the speakings and the leadings and the, the guidance of the Holy Spirit so that each and every day of your life may be a day towards the kingdom of God, may be a day to glorify God. Every single day of our lives, we live, yet not us, but Christ lives in us. Yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. See you in the next video and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you comment. And until we meet in another video, God bless you.